Hey guys, welcome to another film study video. This is going to be one of my shorter videos. I'm just going to be looking at one or two key aspects in the um, Floyd Mayweather fight with Shane Mosley and the Adrian Broner fight with Marcos Maidana. Um, the video is titled The King of Adjustment because Floyd Mayweather is the king of adjustment. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's just that simple. Um, and you're going to see why in this video. Before we get to talking about Floyd, let's start with Adrian Broner. It's always a good place to start. Here you see Marcus Maidana shoot this wide looping left hook, which catches Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner flush on the cheeks, right? Catches him straight in the face. Now, the thing we need to realize is why does this punch catch Adrian Broner? Well, look at what Adrian Broner does with his right hand. He's in the Philly shell defense, right? Just like Floyd. Now, look what Adrian Broner does with his right hand before this punch lands as, as Marcos Maidana shoots this punch, right? He reaches down to parry a jab, which isn't coming. Now, that's not, you know, to say anything about Adrian Broner's boxing IQ. Anybody can make a mistake. But here's the thing you need to realize here. Marcos Maidana shoots his jab to the body to see how you react to his jab to the body. He immediately picked up on the fact from round one that Adrian Broner reached down to parry his jab to the body. Okay, now if, since he knows Adrian Broner is reaching down to catch his jabs down to the body, what does Marcus Maidana do? He changes that because he shoots this like it's a jab to the body. He changes midway throws a wide looping punch from outside Adrian Broner's field of vision. It's way outside Adrian Broner's uh, field of vision or, you know, his, his vision area. And he lands clean on Adrian Broner's chin. Okay. Now, here they are again. And what do you see Marcus Maidana do? Once again, Adrian Broner's in his Philly shell guard position. Now, what does Adrian Broner do? And what does Marcus Maidana do? Now, you see Marcus Maidana begin his punch. It looks like a jab to the body. What is Adrian Broner's reaction? Adrian Broner drops his right hand. In fact, he drops both hands, which, is, which should be a criminal offense. He drops both hands, reaching to parry a jab to the body. Marcus Maidana... Tw ch changes that jab because it's not really a jab to the body it looks like a jab to the body he changes it up midway through the punch to a wide looping left hook from outside adrian broner's field of vision sends adrian broner straight down on the canvas knocks him down for the first time in his professional career now here's the thing S boxing skill wise i like adrian broner he's a very he does have talent in him he, he has skills but he never adjusted to this punch basically till probably around nine or around 10, if he ever did adjust. So it really just says something about Adrian Broner when you can clearly keep seeing Marcus Maidana do the same thing over and over again, but you keep falling for the same thing over and over again. So now I'm just going to play the video again for you to hear Pauly, you know, Pauly Malinaji. Now hear what Paulie Paulie has to say about the situation. And you know something about that knock that, that left hook? It almost looked like a jab to the body at first. And now we know why yeah. Maidana was throwing so many jabs to the body yeah. early. Very good point, Paulie. Terrific. Because when you look at how he throws that left hook, it starts out really low, like it's about to be a jab to the body once again. He kind of got Broner comfortable with him seeing the left the jab to the body and instead it Okay, now we're on the main event. Now we're talking about Floyd. This is what you came here to see. Now, like I said before, anybody can make a mistake. Floyd Mayweather is human. You know, he is a human being, so he can make mistakes. You know, it is known for that to happen. But here's the thing. Watch Shane Mosley. Watch, watch what Shane Mosley does. And watch how Floyd Mayweather Jr. reacts to what Shane Mosley does. Shane Mosley shoots a jab to the body. As he shoots the jab to the body, Floyd Mayweather drops his right hand, 
to parry the jab to the body. And he gives, he opens himself up for a split second for a right hand to the face, which really is one of the hardest punches he's ever taken. He has to hold on to survive. Now, the point of what I've just shown you is, once again, it's the same setup to the punch. Shane Moses shoots a jab to the body. Floyd reaches to, to catch the jab. And there's a split second where, since he didn't roll the punch because he couldn't see it coming, it was so quick from Shane Mosley, he gets tagged with a right cross to the face, which almost puts Floyd down. Now, this is really key because a lot of people go on, on the internet saying, why didn't Shane Mosley keep doing what he did in round two? You know, why didn't he keep throwing the same jab to the body and then come over the top with the right hand? Well, the reason why is so simple is because Floyd took that punch away from him. Because once again, the whole video is the king of adjustment, the king of adjusting. Floyd is the king of adjusting. By the very next round, as you'll see in the video, Floyd doesn't allow this situation to happen ever again. He adjusts to whatever Shane Mosley is doing and completely neutralizes Shane Mosley's game plan, which was to jab to the body, come over the top. The same thing Marcos Maidana did to Adrian Broner. The same thing. Here you see Shane Mosley in round three of the fight. So it's just the very next round. He tried to come down, do the same game plan he did in round two. Shane Mosley attempts to shoot a jab to the body, hoping to come over the top. What does Floyd do? As soon as he shoots the body, you notice Floyd shoots his own jab down to the body, completely disrupting Shane Mosley's uh, offense. What does he do after that? He comes through with a short left hook. So he sh Floyd shoots his own jab to the body, comes through with a short left hook, and then finishes up with a straight right to the face. So people are asking the question of why didn't Shane Mosley just keep jabbing to the body? There's your answer. He tried it again. <laughs> he tried it again the very next round. Floyd had already become wise to the punch. He became wise to the strategy. And he countered him easy. And finally, now we come to Floyd versus Marcus Maidana. Here they are in round 10. Look what happens when Maidana jabs to Floyd's body. Look at Floyd's reaction there. It takes a step back. Just takes a quick step back from that punch and immediately comes back into fighting stance. I mean, he's well, he stays in fighting stance. He just takes a step back and holds his ground from taking a step back. He, he takes a step back just enough to evade the punch, you know, the jab to the stomach, and that's it. So now you've seen Adrian Broner versus Marcus Maidana. You've seen Floyd with Shane Mosley, and now you see Floyd with Marcus Maidana. You can see the strategy of going down to the body to come over the top with Floyd has been basically killed. That strategy doesn't exist anymore since when he, since Floyd fought Shane Mosley. <laughs> you know, he already adjusted since, you know, whenever that fight happened, which is a couple of years ago. So he, he already adjusts and he just keeps building up all these adjustments. So the next time you fight Floyd, it's more difficult than the first time. And the next, next time you fight Floyd again, is even more difficult than the first time. So, hence, 46 professional fights, no defeats, and it's just easy. So, you know, thanks for watching and uh, on to the next one. But he's not jabbing. The speed of Mayweather in his hand and his physical strength are just still amazing me. And Shane is looking old to me. Here you see Floyd Mayweather with a nice counter, short right hand. Roll his shoulder, come back with the counter right hand.